Hey guys, you with me, Kevin, your scuba professional, and today we're here to have a look at the Scuba Pro A2 dive computer. So let's dive right in to see what's going on. If I open the box, first thing I see is really awesome looking A2 dive computer. So let's pull this guy out and uh, have a look what goes on inside the box itself. See if there's any bits and goodies, goodies, goodies. All gone, we're gonna recycle this, don't worry. All right, let's have a look. We have our instruction manual, we have our quick reference guard, I have my extension strap, and a scratch guard. So, instruction manual, super important. You read your instruction manual beginning to end so you fully understand the goings on of your Scuba Pro A2 dive computer. I see there was a serial number that just fell out of there. Oh, there we go, there's a whole bunch of serial numbers and barcodes. You can hang on to these, put them inside your instruction manual and hang on to them in case you need that for future reference. Your quick reference guide, super helpful because it goes through all the navigation menus as well as quick setup. So I tend to keep this nice and close in my dive log or in my uh, dive folders so I can refer to that when I need to. Your scratch guard, super cool to put over the front of the watch. I find it doesn't last very long, it's not a permanent solution, but it does help with, scr with scratches on the surface for the first few weeks you've got the units. Um, and then of course the extension straps for the dry suits and uh, wet suits if you're wearing thick gloves or if you just happen to have really big wrists. The unit itself, let's pop this out and have a good look. We'll cycle this too. Hmm, thank you plastic. Let's just take that out the way so we can see what's going on. So I can see the uh, dot matrix screen, super easy to read. Really, really clear. It's got a nice black bezel um, compared to the A1, which got the silver bezel. This is a little bit less blingy, less gaudy. Um, so I think it looks great. You've got your four button navigation and profile of the watch from a width point. Same as the Scuba Pro A1, which is also the same as pretty much all dive computers in this class, nice and compact. Um, and you could wear it as a day-to-day -day watch. I know that it's already got profiled straps here that are already curved so if I put this on the arm it fits quite comfortably already just with me putting it on so when I strap the unit on its general feel is pretty good so I could wear this as a day-to-day -day watch so if I was away on a dive holiday diving um, I would quite happily leave this on my arm after the dive um, I wouldn't have to throw it back in my dive bag uh, the rubber strap is uh, quite chunky and solid so I doubt that's ever going to break um, and it feels pretty good on the arm, not too heavy which is great. Um, so to go into the uh, functions of the unit itself before we dive in for our close-ups to go through the navigation menu, this is pretty much everything you need from a recreational level and it also has full tech and CCR, clo completely closed rebreather technology built into it. From the recreational point, you have your full scuba mode for diving normal air as well as nitrox. And you can dive nitrox up to 100% on this unit. Uh, with recreational divers, we're diving our standard 32 to 36% uh, mixes. And you have an apnea mode. So should you decide to go free diving or spear fishing, the apnea mode is in there too, which speeds up the sampling rate of the computer for your depths. It also has a full sport mode. So this has Scuba Pro's stroke counter built into it. Um, so you can go swimming, it'll tell you how many strokes you are doing when you're out swimming your laps. And it has a pedometer built in, so you can tell your daily steps, as well as a standard stopwatch, should you wish to time anything, sporting events, or whatever else you feel the need to, to time standard stopwatch built in. From the tech and CCR point of view, this has got an eight gas um, mix built into it. So you can mix up, you can have up to eight different gas mixes and it runs the PDIS system, both on its recreational deep diving as well as its tech deep diving. PDIS standing for profile dependent intermediary stops. It's just a really fancy way of saying that this dive computer will build in additional safety stops for you over and above your standard deep stop and um, five meter safety stop. When you do 30, 40 meter dives on the recreational level, you normally do your deep stop at half your maximum depth. So if you do a 30 meter dive, you do your one minute safety stop at 15 and then your three minute safety stop up at five meters. The PDIS on this unit may tell you to build in some additional safety stops, 30 seconds, a minute, maybe two minutes, depending on the different depths you're at. And it will build in that extra safety, which just reduces the pressure gradient as you go to the surface, which reduces the chances of getting decompression sickness. 
The unit also runs what's called predictive multi-gas on its tech setup. That means that you will set the different gases that you have available to you. And although you would have planned the gas swap depths um, before you go diving, the dive computer can also predict when it believes is the better time for you to swap gases and would beep at you and give you the gas mix suggestion. So you could choose to swap out gases based on what the computer is telling you. And it also runs Scuba Pro's micro bubble levels, which is another way of saying it's got a built and conserv conservatism factor from one to five. So based on your age, weight, fitness levels, as well as your experience level, you can set the dive computer to be less conservative or more conservative, depending which you prefer. Plus, from a daily watch point of view, it's got all of the normal times, the alarms, the alternate times, everything you need um, from a dive point and the absolute bonuses. This dive computer is compatible with the Scuba Pro air transmitter, so you can upgrade um, this unit to come with an air transmitter should you be diving single tank. However, it also has the ability to sync up to eight um, air transmitters. So if you're diving tech with your multiple cylinders, you can have a transmitter on each one of those. And it does the same for your diluent on completely closed rebreather. If you've got pony bottles or if you've got additional bailout cylinders, if you're diving CCR as well, you can sync these up to your uh, dive computer, which is a really great addition. The Scoop Pro transmitters are Super, super reliable. So let's dive right in and get a close up of all the menu options on this unit. The first thing you'll note with this computer is exactly how clear the dot matrix display is. It's got the nice big time at the top. You can see the little mountain to indicate that we're at altitude where we're recording this video. Navigation wise, you have your top button over here for backlight. The bottom left over here, this is for selecting to go into modes and then you've got your up and your down selection on this side. So I'm just going to click into the menus. You see I've got return which will send me back and then my different settings. So I've got dive, settings, gas, sport, Bluetooth, navigation, planner, logbook and then if I click return it takes me back out. So this button navigates in and out. So where I am here in terms of dive, if I select dive to go inside, I have the option here for mode, scuba, apnea, my warnings, my return, and then mode. So if I select into mode over here, I can select whether I want to be in scuba mode, gauge mode, which makes me a bottom timer um, and depth, apnea for free dive and spear fishing, and then back to scuba. Let's leave it set on scuba. If I go down here, I can set my scuba modes. So here I can select my water, whether I want salt or fresh. My MB level, which is my micro bubble level. If I select in there, that's my conservatism from one to five. We'll just leave that at zero for the moment. My displays, whether I want that light or classic, that'll just change how the dot matrix display displays things. CCR, completely closed rebreather, I can set that on or off, depending on the mode I'm diving. Same for side mounts, I can set that on or off. My PMG predictive um, multi-gas, that is for me setting the gas suggestions when I'm in Trimex. So I can turn that on or off. And then when I go to Trimex, I can set Trimex on or off. And depending on my depths and gas, gas mixes, the predictive multi-gas from the top here will suggest different gases for me. Then if I select return, I can go down to apnea and set my different apnea modes. So I have my total exercise, I have my surface intervals, I've got my depth, I've got my dive increments, I've got my dive intervals, I've got my surface interval, I've got my low heart rate warning. So if I have my heart rate monitor connected to this part of Scuba Pro's human factor diving model, it'll warn me if uh, the heart rate's gone too low during or after the dive my speed warnings for ascent and descent, and then I can return back out. My warnings are for setting 
uh, beeps and alarms for dive times, depths, maximum operating depths if I'm diving on night trucks and I want to know what my max ops depth is, so it beeps at me. Lights is just how light I want this to be. And then I can return out. If I go to return, to go back to the next model, I've got my settings over here. I can set my watch settings, so alarms, time to, all the different watch settings and dates, etc. The formats, whether I want feet or meters. Uh, my user settings, this is for user individual settings as you want to set that up. My swim modes for my stroke counter. Um, my warnings for sounds to turn the sounds on and off when I click the buttons. And then my battery check if I return back. I have my gas settings for my dive. So here I can set my gas mix. If I select my gas mix under transmitter one, you see it's 21% and then my maximum operating depth of 58 meters. I can, well, let's go back to transmitter one. If I select transmitter one, I can change my nitrox percentages and notice I'm doing that. You can see my maximum operating depth level gets lower. Let's set that back to 21. And then when I select again, I can select my partial pressure of oxygen. 1.4 is the standard. We can change contingency to 1.6. If I wanted to, you can go up in increments of 0.5. Um, and then over here, I can select up and down to get to transmitter 1 up to transmitter 8. If I'm diving on uh, multi-gas for trimix or side mount, if I've got my two side mount mixes, I can keep changing those as I need. Let's just hold back to get out here. Pairing, if I select pairing, that is to pair with the air transmitter. O2 reset, well there we go, there's your pair tank, I'm just going to select out of that. O2 reset is if I want to clear my nitrox loading or any of my other gas loadings when I'm doing my tech dives. Full gas, half gas and reserves, that's for me to set what percentages I want my full gas to be, whether it be 200 bar, a 300 bar cylinder, my half gas then being 100 bar or 150 bar respectively, and my reserve. If I want a reserve warning at 50 bar, 70 bar, 80 bar, I can set that there. And then we'll just go to our return. My sport modes is for me to set my stopwatch. Training is for my pedometer, so my daily steps. And then swim, if I go in there, that's for my stroke counter. Then I've got uh, apnea in there, that's for my apnea or free dive settings, and then my step counter to turn that on and off, and then I can return out as well. Bluetooth is to pair the unit with my smartwatch or Bluetooth device. Navigation, if I select in, that is for my compass and altimeter. If I click the altimeter, you can just see the altimeter here immediately set to where we are, we're at a thousand meters here where we're recording this video. See the temperature, 31 degrees, nice and warm in the studio today under these lights. And then my bar of oxygen, and that's for my altitude. If I change it, it'll give me the barometer reading, current barometer reading, a thousand. Um, and that goes up and down depending on what's happening with the weather. So that's a good indication for me to look at. If I click out, hold on one more second. We'll go up to the compass. Once I'm in the compass, I've got my bearings, my declination, time out, calibrate if we go from northern to southern hemisphere. But if I just select in bearing, uh, you'll see as I select in, you can see when I turn the compass, it will start to change its bearings. Okay, it takes a little bit longer here where we are in the studio, um, but as you would turn the watch, it would show you north, east, south, west. We can click out of that and click out one more time and then we'll go back out to return and return one more. To go further down we've got the dive planner so that allows me to select uh, how deep I'm going to go diving from 9 meters up to whichever depth I'm going to. It'll tell me how long I can be there, what percentages of oxygen I'm diving. So this is a handy way to, to plan dives. So logbook, if I go into logbook, that will tell us um, how many dives we've done. Let me just go back up here. Uh, back out, let's just go return to, oh yes, yeah, logbook. So I'm logging into logbook. So there's my dive um, logbook and then further down my step counter. Okay, sorry, I was used to the A1, the review we did a bit earlier. So dive logs is for me to see all my dive logs, my step counters to see all my pedometer set steps that I've done over the past few days. Um, 
And then I've got my return height, which will bring me to time. So you can see overall, super easy watch to set. There you have it guys, the Scuba Pro A2 dive computer. You can see it's a good all-rounder for a recreational diver as well as a serious diver that's doing tech and rebreather diving as well as side mount, apnea and a few sport modes built in including your step counter. It comes with your extension strap, you've got your uh, scratch protector guard, your instruction manuals and your quick guard. Remember you can pair it with up to eight transmitters as well as the Scuba Pro heart rate monitor which will enable Scuba Pro's human factor diving, monitoring heart rate true air usage so this makes it super accurate on both the recreational and tech level as far as diving is concerned we're super excited to have this guy out in the water and I know it's going to be one of our best selling units because of everything it can do and the pairing with the air transmitter which divers really really love so that's it from me guys and I look forward to seeing you in the water really soon